I disappeared for a few months and it wasn't planned. Today, I want to share with you everything that happened. No fancy edits, just a heart to heart conversation because I have a lot to catch you up on. I'll start off with some happy news. I got engaged. Yes, yes, yes. G give me all the compliments on the ring, yes. Okay, I'll pass them along to my fiance because he did so well. I've always known that I didn't want a traditional diamond as the center stone for my engagement ring. So we worked with a Seattle-based black and Latina-owned jeweler to make my dream ring into a reality. And honestly, I just cannot stop looking at it. <laughs> and hey, maybe I'll share our love story sometime if you're interested. To tease you a little bit, we met on TikTok. How's that for a cliffhanger? <laughs> now on the work side, I recently hit my five-year mark as a content designer and I'm just so incredibly grateful that I have found this career path for myself. It is really fulfilling, it's really amazing, and I love my job, and I'm just really happy and proud of myself as well. I know I talk a lot about how much I love my job, which the next piece of update will start to feel very contradicting. Earlier this year, I got really burned out from my job. It affected my mental health in a way where it was not something that can just be fixed with a vacation. With the encouragement of a lot of UX professionals, my friends and my family, I decided to take a three month medical leave. It was absolutely necessary and I don't feel 100% just yet, but I cannot imagine where I'd be without that leave. For the first two months on my leave, I'd say, it wasn't just time off. I was really struggling with a lot of depressive episodes, anxiety, and I had zero motivation to do anything. I would find myself doom scrolling a lot and rotting in bed as well. Um, <laughs> I was having therapy weekly and eventually I reached a point where I started to realize that the reason for my burnout is because of my relationship with work. I realized how much I tied my self-worth, how much I tied my identity with my work. You know, even when I'm introducing myself to other people, within a few sentences, I'll be like, hi, I'm Yvonne, I'm a content designer. So you know how much work is a part of my identity. And I started reflecting a little bit on my past life as well. You know, growing up in China, the academic success is really heavily tied with your self-worth and your identity. So as these kids grow up, that piece of academic success pretty smoothly transitioned into professional success. So now instead of schoolwork being our identity, uh, our job becomes our new identity. I still love content design a lot, but I began question myself who am I without my job? I don't have a concrete answer just yet. I'm still learning and still processing. And I think peeling off and unlearning that generational and cultural layer is pretty difficult, but I'm working on it. If you are someone who's struggling with burnout at work or um, struggling with detaching your self-worth from your job as well, just know that you're not alone. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I'd love to hear if you have any tips too. So while my world was basically on fire, the content design field was also experiencing a lot of instability. You know, I would go on LinkedIn and then I would see a lot of content design professionals experiencing burnout or there were layoffs happening as well. It reached the point where I decided to uninstall LinkedIn for my phone because it was just too much. And then personally, I felt a little bit conflicted to continue make content as well when the job market is not where it used to be. The good news is that the job market is starting to look a little better. I've been seeing a lot more job openings on LinkedIn. There are mostly senior roles right now, uh, which some people are like, yeah, that's not really fixing the pipeline issue. I see it a little differently. I do think that the more content designers we can get into the field to begin with, the more likely we can have at least the manpower to address the pipeline issue. You know, for someone like me, as I advance my career, I'd love to reach a position where I can start addressing the pipeline issue by creating more opportunities for junior folks. And I know, I know for a fact that a lot of senior people in my field share the same feeling. So I, I think this is a positive thing, honestly. For a lot of junior folks, I've been offering some advice through the one-on-one -on -one chats on Superpeer. 
And one thing I tell them is like, right now is not the time to be picky about your job title. I think your key objective right now is to gain that experience, find opportunities to build portfolio pieces as well. And I really think being flexible right now is a better tactic while we wait for the job market to stabilize a little bit. So yeah, moving forward, I'm committed to have a better balance of my mental health, my self-worth, and my career. I still love content design, I still believe in content design, and I still believe in the impact content design can have on various sectors of our society. But this time, I'm gonna do it with better boundaries. I'm not gonna let my work consume my whole identity, and I'm really excited to bring this new energy to the day-to-day -day work that I do. I want to keep growing, I want to help you grow as well, but in a very sustainable way because your job should be fulfilling and sustainable at the same time. So yeah, that's my little life update. If you experienced something similar or any part of my blabbering resonated with you, please feel free to drop a comment. By the way, I have like a lot of content ideas. Let me show you in my notes app. I have this like, YouTube list and whenever I finish a video, I will like cross off from the list, but I have like a lot of stuff to share. So stay tuned. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be back soon. And thank you so much for sticking with me through this update and I hope to see you again soon.